Hey, Luke and Maddie here with The Three Things Show, where we categorize the world of knowledge through books, three things at a time. And this week's book is Will It Fly by Pat Flynn. And Pat Flynn does it again in this amazing book that I really wanted to give six stars, but could only give five. Maddie's being a daredevil today, so you're in for a good one. Quick intro. This book is 336 pages paperback and 6 hours 27 minutes audible. It is described on Amazon as follows. Stop rushing into businesses born from half-baked ideas, misguided theories, and other forms of self-delusion. A lack of proper validation kills more businesses than anything else. As Joel Barker says, speed is only useful if you're running in the right direction. Will It Fly will help you to make sure that you are clear for takeoff. It answers questions like, does your business idea have merit? Will it succeed in the market you're trying to serve, or will it just be a waste of time and resources? Is it a good idea for you? In other words, will it fly? So, what are three things we can use from this book. Number one, mind map. So you've got a concept that you want to put out into the world, but it's too complicated to just write it all out. Or it's a multi-level concept with branches. She doesn't like multi-level concepts. Or it's a book and you want a good big picture. Anything that you can't sum up right away Pat Flynn has a method that helps you to assembly line this process for both efficiency, efficiency and accuracy. The method is called a mind map, and it has two to three phases involved. Phase one, creative mode. Have your concept in mind, then give yourself 10 minutes to just spew whatever thoughts you have about that topic onto separate sticky notes. And don't stop coming up with ideas and write every idea that comes to your mind on these sticky notes. In the book, Pat uses fly fishing as an example and writes down whatever comes to mind with fly fishing, including fish, flies, casting techniques, etc. And then phase two, now that you've got all of your ideas out onto the table, start to organize them using similarities and under different headings. Start to get a big picture of your idea by seeing the different areas that you have divided the concept into. And then the optional phase three is condense it. And now Pat Flynn introduces the, a way to condense your idea into one focal, focal point, one focal idea. He says to use your mind map, write out and describe your concept using your mind map. Write out and describe your concept onto one page. And then what, using that page, Describe and write it into just one paragraph. And then finally condense it from that paragraph into just one sentence. And voila! Your idea has multiple different pillars from the mind map that make it up. And you have a foundational sentence that ties it all together. And Pat Flynn has a video of the first part of this process up on YouTube, which I will link to in the description. Number two, sniper search. This is really cool. Before we get into the technique of the sniper search, we need to understand why it's so cool and helpful. The reason why sniper search is so cool is that it allows you to find what people are saying in your industry. And you can find out the problems and the concerns, the stories that they are telling, and the language that they are using. You can see the places that your customers are going, the products that they are buying, and the people that they are following. Using all of this information, you can develop a picture of your market that is far more accurate and researched than most of your other competitors. And Sniper Search is used on different search sites like Google, iTunes, and YouTube, just searching sites. Uh, each has a different way of using their own advanced search and different shortcuts for precision, precision searching, which is the, uh, the main idea of the Sniper Search. <laughs> But we're just going to use Google 
in this example. To find what people are saying and what questions people are asking, as, in our, as our first example, you will first want to find a forum that is related to your market. So think of a keyword that describes your market in total, or at least a piece of it, and then use that keyword in the search bar in the following way, which we will get to right after I take care of this baby. I'm back. So to use the sniper search, you use the search bar in the following way. Type forum, the word forum, colon, and then your keyword into the search bar. <laughs> Mary just shoved like eight grapes in her face. Um, but once that's in the search bar, hit search. And out of the results, find a forum because you're going to get a list of forums and find a forum that fits your market. Now you can either read through the posts in that forum as research or you can dig deeper and attempt more precision by taking the URL of that forum, the web address, copy it, and now type this into the Google search. Quotations, how come I, in quotations, cite the word site with a colon, and now paste that forum URL right there. And now hit search. And you will find all of the questions in that forum that include the phrase, how come I? You can substitute any other phrase, and you can do this with more than just forums. The sniper search can be a very valuable and helpful tool in your market research. And best of all, it's free. Number three. Will it fly? So Pat Flynn has been in the online income and passive income industry, helping people start and run successful online businesses for eight years by the time that he has written this book. And after all of that time and experience, this is the book that pops out of Pat's head for the best way to start an online business with just an idea. So what is the way to do it? What is the process that he came up with after all of that time and experience? And the result was a simple five-step process that has been used by many a successful entrepreneur and is outlined in this book. And while there is a, there's certainly nuance to each of the steps, the overall process is still a very enlightening and inspiring big picture look. And since the book was called Will It Fly, is all in aviation terms. Number one. Mission design. Number two, development lab. Three, flight planning. Four, flight simulator. Five, all systems go. The process starts with mission design. You must figure out if this path is right for you. Do you want it enough to put in the work? Do you care enough to make the sacrifices for the greater good? but are still willing to risk potential failure. On the development lab, where you poke, stretch, onto the development lab, where you poke, stretch, and fully form your idea through a series of tests. Into flight planning, where you discover the market you are looking at and do the research and design accordingly. Figure out who and what is in your market and separate yourself in a unique, but logical and reasonable way and create solutions to the problems that you run into. In Flight Simulator, you will test your ideas in a less risky way by taking advantage of different softwares, sites, and techniques to either validate your business model or realize that a pivot could be in order. Finally, with All Systems Go, where you begin your business with helpful and motivating thoughts and practices in mind and in action. So. To recap, get a condensed and useful picture of your idea by exploding it all over the place and then putting it back together in an organized way. Picture your market precisely by sniping out your customers' leaders, websites, and purchases and studying their questions, stories, and language. Figure out if your idea will fly by asking if you've got what it takes, perfecting your idea, learning the market, 
validating your idea with your market, and then setting you and your business up for prosperity. Will It Fly has 4.9 out of 5 stars on Amazon. It was an amazing book that has totally changed the way I'm thinking about online business. I plan to do an actual mind map of Average Optimized in the near future because my way of just scattering notes all over the place doesn't work nearly as well as a mind map, I would imagine. I loved this book and I recommend it I recommend not only the book, but also Pat Flynn's Smart Passive Income brand to anyone interested in online business. You can find him at smartpassiveincome.com or look for the Smart Passive Income podcast on iTunes or on your Android podcast app, which I listen to every week and I love it. But that's it for this book. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next week.